open door. Boxing! Two, nine, four. And there's a mystery. My tooth! It's gone! <laughs> and today's surprise is a mystery.
Anderson's Little Mermaid by Medusa the Doll Maker in size 40 by 61 with the promo of free special beads. And the beads that Catherine has chosen is abalone. So we've placed abalone crystals on her tail. This is a suggestion of what you can do with the special beads. And this, I believe, will really make her being a mermaid um, stand out as we've placed it on the darkest areas of her tail and then kind of sprinkling it around the lighter areas just to give it a nice realistic mermaid tail look.
Sloth version B by Jeremiah Morelli. Special treatment version 3 starts with electric diamonds that we have sprinkled on the lightest areas on the moth's wings. So these are the beads that we see sparkling from the lightest areas of the wings right over here, over here, and here as well. And right there. And for version 2, we now add desert crystals that we have sprinkled on the brown areas of the moth's wings. So looking closely, here are the desert crystals that we have simply scattered and sprinkled on the moth's wings. For version 3, we add ice crystals that we have sprinkled in the blue background. So simply place it in the blue areas in the background. And also for version 3, we add blue fireflies that you also sprinkle in the blue areas in the background. And these will be the ones that will glow in the dark and will really give your Jeremiah Morelli a nice magical feel. Once again, for Jeremiah Morelli's The Moth Version B, we have electric diamonds, desert crystals, ice crystals, and blue fireflies.
Serenity by Cherry Yuki, Special Treatment Version 3, starts with periwinkle pearls that we have sprinkled on the blue areas of her dress. So simply place it on the bluest areas that we see on her sleeves as well as on the bodice trailing down towards the bottom of her dress. For Version 2, we add electric diamonds sprinkled in the whitest areas in the sky. These represent the specks or the stars in the sky, together with some that are also placed on the moon. So as you can see over here, we've got the electric diamonds on the specks in the sky, right over here and here, and also placed on the lightest areas of the big and finally, for version 3, we now add some ice crystals that we have sprinkled on the top corners of the painting. So these would be on the top dark blue areas in the sky. So those are ice crystals. Aside from that, for version 3, we've also added old gold diamonds that we have placed on the jewel on her forehead. So once again, for version 3 of Serenity by Cherry Yuki, we've got periwinkle pearls, electric diamonds, ice crystals, and old gold diamonds.
Thank you.
darkest areas and temperatures. So mostly these would be on the lower bottom corners, especially right over here. So place them in all of the dark areas except for the area that represents her face. So you can sort of place them over here if you'd like, but focus more on the darker section. And then for version 3 is gold crystals that we have printed in the yellow color. So simply have fun with it and decide which flowers you would like to have more of the gold crystals. Remember not to place it on her eyelids, only on the flowers. Once again, Queen by Anna Dickman, version 3 special treatment. We have electric diamonds, prism pearl, and gold crystal.
at Kyoto in 50 by 86 cm artwork by Cathy Delancey special treatment version 1 starts with auburn crystals that we have sprinkled on the orange branches we see here as well as the orange branches on top and we've also filled in the orange leaves with the auburn crystals this is for version one. Moonlight at Kyoto by Cathy Delancey. Special treatment version two now adds sapphire diamonds that we have sprinkled on her dress. So you can place it on all of the darker blue areas mostly and then sprinkle a little bit on some of the lighter blue areas just to give her dress or her kimono a bit of embellishment. Kyoto by Cathy Delancey, special treatment in size 50 by 86 cm. Round version 3 now adds electric diamonds for the stars in the sky. So simply follow the light balls that you see around her, the balls of light, which are the stars. And then feel free to add more of the stars by adding random individual specks of electric diamonds in the night sky. So as we see if we come up close, we've got some clusters of the electric diamonds to fill in these areas that are like small clusters. So fill those in, but aside from that, feel free to also place them on random black dark areas in the sky so that you have this 
look of a starry night with a lot of stars, both bigger stars and also smaller stars. Once again, for version three of Moonlight at Kyoto, we have auburn crystals for these orange branches as well as the orange leaves on top. And then we also have sapphire diamonds sprinkled on her dress. And finally, and finally we have electric diamonds for the stars in the sky. Perfect.
Any ideas? by Lioba Bruckner. Special treatment version 3, we start the treatment with electric diamonds that we've sprinkled in the whitest areas in the background. So place it on these white spots that we've got over here, as well as over here. Sprinkle it in those areas. And then for version 2, we have ice crystals that we have sprinkled in the blue areas. So this would be on the background right over here as well as on the butterfly right over here. And finally for version three, we've got Morganite crystals that we have sprinkled on the flowers on her hair and focus on the darker pink areas that we have in the flowers. So once again for Windchime by Lioba Bruckner, special treatment version three, we've got electric diamonds, ice crystals and Morganite crystals.
This is that moon with a circle around it and the ribbon that reads Cosmic Lover. So simply trace out the line and fill that in with the gilded crystals. Another option for this painting is to use your gilded crystals on those specks that you see on the bottom. So we can see that there are somewhat circles and you simply choose um, which circles you'd like to place the gilded crystals on and focusing on the middle part so it appears like they're glitters on the canvas. And a third idea is to simply place the gilded crystals that you get on the rays of the sun on the top. That is right there that we see. So simply place it around the rays of the sun. Once again, these are just recommendations, suggestions of how you can use your special drills that you've chosen for this painting on your canvas. You can choose to do something else completely different. And if you do, please feel free to let us know and a message it to us, send us a photo, and we'd be happy to know what you came up with on your own special treatment for Medusa the Dollmaker's Cosmic Lover.
The Reader's Path by Jeremiah Morelli, version 3 special treatment. For version 1 we have Labradorite crystals that we have sprinkled on all of the green areas. So these are the Labradorite. Sprinkle them on all of the green areas in the picture. And then for version 2 we've got yellow fireflies and orange fireflies. So for the orange fireflies, we place them right over here on the orange areas of the picture. For the yellow fireflies, we place them on the yellow areas. So this would be on this section over here as well as the two lanterns that we see. One over here and another one over here. Those will glow in the dark. Finally, for version 3, we've got electric diamonds that we have sprinkled on the books, which represents the path. So it's up to you where you would like to sprinkle the electric diamonds, but kind of give it sort of an even spread so you have just a little bit on each step, just to make this extra magical. Once again, The Reader's Path by Jeremiah Morelli, Special Treatment, version 3. We have Labradorite crystals, two kinds of fireflies, orange and yellow fireflies, and finally, electric diamonds. Magic Gateway by Jeremiah Morelli Version 3 Special Treatment We start the special treatment with titanium diamonds that will be sprinkled on the purple areas. So these are the titanium diamonds that you will sprinkle on the purple hues on the canvas. So that would be mainly the middle section in the sky. And then for version two, we've got electric diamonds that we have placed on the specks. So these are the specks. So if we remove this, you see that there's a speck right there. So place some electric diamonds there. Also fill in this moon. The other specks in the picture, such as these ones, and then the rest, sprinkle them in the sky to add more stars. Finally, for version 3, we've got another one of our fireflies. And these are the yellow fireflies, which will glow in the dark. These are placed on the arch. So sprinkle it on the yellow arch that you see here. And then the rest, sprinkle it in those yellow areas just to give it an added dimension when the lights are turned off. So for Magic Gateway by Jeremiah Morelli, version 3 special treatment, we've got titanium diamonds for the purple areas, electric diamonds for the stars, the moon, and then finally for version 3 we have yellow fireflies for the fire on the torches as well as on the archway and on all of the yellow areas of the place that she's looking at. Every Story by Jeremiah Morelli, version 3 special treatment. For version 1, we have violet pearls that we have sprinkled on the girl's dress. 
And then for version two, we have lemon pearls that we have sprinkled on the yellow areas in the background. And then finally, we have yellow fireflies that will glow in the dark that highlights the archway. So these are the yellow fireflies. And then these are the lemon pearls and the violet pearls. This is for Two Sides to Every Story by Jeremiah Morelli. Version 3 Special Treatment. Hey guys, so we just want to share the uh, Jeremiah Morelli uh, painting Where Stars Come From. And this is actually the design that we um, shows to send out to the Diamond Shop Ambassadors to do the Mystery Artist launch that happened June 5. So if you missed out on that, make sure that you follow the Ambassadors. Um, their links are down below. Meantime, uh, Jeremiah Morelli's um, Where Stars Come From, we've got two versions. And this is pretty much um, with all of Diamond Shop uh, designs, wherein we've got the, um, the original version and the version with the diamond shop special treatment. So let's show you first the original version. This is where stars come from. And it's a really, really um, pretty picture. Um, it's got that fun play of like mischief with this dark character holding a wand um, with a star. So, you know, here you've got, if we try to like move it a little bit, we've got the stars, we can see that, you know, it's sparkling. It's beautiful, just as how a diamond painting would be. So for the special treatment for this painting, we decided to put some mahogany pearls and sprinkle it on these maroon sort of um, cracks on the floor, on the ground where the roots are at. So we just sprinkle some mahogany pearls onto these areas, these maroon areas. Then we also have electric diamonds that we've sprinkled for the stars. So those were sprinkled on the dark sky to create stars. We also have electric diamonds that would replace the regular beads. Can we come closer? That would replace the regular beads used here, which is more like a, an off-white and also like some blue hues. We replaced that and filled it in with electric diamonds. Aside from that, we also have sprinkled sapphire diamonds for this portion of the tree, the dark blue areas of the tree, kind of like to, to make it look like there is some light coming from the tree and the tree's sort of like, um, you know, glowing with all the stars that's coming out of it. And finally, we also replaced these ones that um, represent stars hanging from the tree with actual star gems. So these were replaced with star gems. And let's back up a bit. So to show you once again, this is the original, the original version. Round, and in round. this is the one with a special treatment. As you can see, we now not have just the glitter of the diamonds that we know that come with a diamond painting, but we also have different levels of sparkle. So if we come closer, we've got, if you can see, the moon is sparkling with electric diamonds. We've got the actual stars. Do you see the stars? And do you see the sapphire? You see that? You see those, those are the electric diamonds. The ones that, you see that? It's gonna sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. And then there are the blue sparkles and those are the sapphire diamonds that we've sprinkled underneath the leaves of the tree. And then we also have more electric diamonds up here in the sky and some areas that also have the star gems. And then on the bottom, we've got mahogany pearls just to give it an extra sheen. 
And we also play Sapphire for the mouth of the creature and Electric Diamonds for his eyes. Oh, and the creature is actually in black diamonds. Hence, there's, you know, a very dense black color that is very different from the black of the night sky. So side by side. The one I'm holding up is the one with a special treatment and the one that Reggie is holding up is the regular original diamond painting. Once again, the special treatments simply enhance your diamond paintings and just make it go an extra level to really give it that wow factor and a really cool magical effect.
December 65 by 50 cm is part of Anna Dickman's calendar series and each one of the months in her series come with electric diamonds. The bigger it is, the more electric diamonds it will come with. So for this particular painting, we're just showing you areas that you can place the electric diamonds. That would be mainly the snowflake on her forehead. You can also sprinkle it in the background and also sprinkle it in the petals of the flowers and pretty much just place it where you'd like to add more glitter and glisten to your December diamond painting. The Ghost Maker 30 by 40 cm rounds, free electric diamonds, shows the areas where you will place the electric diamonds by sprinkling it on her shoulders and also filling the area in her mouth where the smoke is coming out from. So simply place your electric diamonds that you get free with this painting in those white areas to give it the sparkle of the spirit or the smoke. Show me the ring and I'll jump right through. I 
Flap your wings, flap, 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 and waddle. Flap and waddle. Flap, lap, 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 and flap and waddle. Wackle, lack, 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 Go. Show me your cute face. Show, show me your cute face. Show me your cute face. Sh sh show me your cute face. Looky here, looky here, and wah 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 wah. Show me your cute 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 face. Show me, sh sh show me, show me cute 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 face. Kick around, kick around, kick, 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 kick around, kick around, kick around, and wang, 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 kick around, and wang, 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 wang. Kick around, kick around, and wang, 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 wang. Looky here, Zuzu. Looky here, Zuzu. Looky here and flap your wings. Flap, 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 flap. Oh, oh, flap, 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 flap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 you, you, you. You are the penguins. Who is the penguin? Say me. 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 
I, I, I. I am the penguin. Go this, do the swim, 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 swimming around, cause you're ice cold penguins, swimming around, up in the pool, in the poles, poles, poles of the north and the south, swim, 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 and it's so cold outside, under the water, so nice and clear, Swim, swimmy, swim, 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 it's a swim. <laughs> okay.